Good morning. <clears throat> it is 5.59 a.m. on Wednesday, January 27th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis, and this is 5 More Minutes, because I just got up. That was the thing I say, right? Yeah. That just reminds me of how I, I had to, uh, I guess this was actually Monday, but I had to uh, initial and date a whole bunch of pages in a row on Monday for a document that I was working on at work and uh, it was really frustrating that I kept getting the date wrong but not like in an every way like I just couldn't get it right but what would happen is I would like 10 times in a row I'd do the date right and then on the 11th I would end it with 15 like where does that come from I don't know why Lynn is barking she's a little bit worked up because we did have uh, a little bit weird situation last night where it was a little bit unclear, but I gather what was going on is that my next door neighbors had someone who was expecting to come visit them, but they weren't answering the door. Luna, stop! No. Um, and so progressively louder knocking next door got her kind of all worked up. Oh my God, I. I'm also was dragged out of bed a little bit earlier than um, typical this morning because dog owners will relate to this. You know that thing how usually you take them out before bed or let them out and they would go out and uh, and poop, but then sometimes for whatever reason, it might be all sorts of reasons, they just don't seem to feel like they want to poop. And you're like, okay, well, this is taking a long time. I don't want to keep standing out here. You don't seem like you're actually moving in this direction. You're just kind of walking around and sniffing things now. And uh, so you go back inside without them having pooped, knowing that it's a practical, practically a guarantee that they're going to wake you up extra early the next morning because, surprise, they need to poop now. I suppose it's better than if there were some accident during the night, but still. <sighs> this little dog. I am awfully fond of her. <laughs> but <laughs> there are certainly some times where she drives me kind of crazy. Uh, so, what happened last night? Um, a couple things. Uh, one is that I made pesto for the first time with some of the herbs from my arrow garden and I was very pleased with the process for a number of reasons one is I was actually starting to become a little bit alarmed with what I was going to do with all of those herbs they're growing fast enough that I'm thinking I don't actually cook enough that I'm going to use this much all very this quickly like this is a little bit alarming in that sense um, but what I discovered is that making pesto uses a lot of herbs for how much you get. And so in, in a way of sort of concentrating the herbs into something that's tasty, it was very effective. I swear, I don't know what she's barking at. I don't hear anything. Now, admittedly, maybe her ears are better than mine. I'm not actually 100% sure how true that is. I know dogs can smell a lot better, but is their hearing really that much better? I don't even remember. They can hear higher, higher pitches, but I wouldn't think that's what she would be barking at. Like some high electrical line? I don't know. I don't know. But here, look at this sweet little dog. Anyway, <laughs> she's a good girl. Uh, so the pesto was good. Uh, mission success. I used a bunch of uh, herbs so that they're <clears throat> nicely pruned now. And because uh, one of the things that the Arrow Garden instructions make clear is this, like you, like do not be afraid to go ahead and, and start pruning because uh, you otherwise they can uh, if you don't if you let them just get too tall without ever like cutting them back they'll get like tall and skinny but not dense so you give the, you know you cut off some of the extra 
branches so it can devote more of its resources and nutrients to fleshing out the other ones. <sighs> it's just all out of control today. So, uh, just briefly, the, uh, the last thing that I was going to mention today is that a video game called The Witness came out for PS4 yesterday. And I've been really excited about that one for a long time. It is the rec most recent mo game from Jonathan Blow, who did Braid, which is great, but also a long time ago now. So, finally his new game has come out. It was much anticipated, given that way back years ago, when they first announced the PS4, they implied that this was going to be one of the launch games. And then, what, two and a half years later? <laughs> yeah. Where is it? How much? Is it three and a half now? No. Is it? Oh, God, I can't think straight. It's kind of early in the morning, you guys. Come on. Cut me some slack. Anyway, uh, the, the Witness is a sort of puzzle game where you're just walking around this island. It's kind of like mist in that sense. We're walking around this island and there's all of these uh, different puzzles to solve. Some of them are environmental, some of them are more standalone, and almost all of the puzzles resolve around there being some sort of a little plate where you have to trace a path from a little starting point to a finishing point with various little extra twists like, oh, you have to connect all the dots, or oh, you have to uh, find the path that reflects where the apple is on the tree that's behind it. That sort of thing. Uh, but there seem to be a lot of variations, and the the island itself is just, it, like, the look of the game is just really pretty. Uh, the island itself is cool looking, and it's just a lot to see so far and the puzzles uh, seem really well designed and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. It uh, seems like it'll be a nice kind of uh, calming game to play uh, at least until I start getting really frustrated by some of the puzzles which hasn't happened yet but uh, we'll see. Alright so I think I'll leave it there for today uh, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.